okay welcome everyone let's we'll start our first lesson uh, in this lesson we'll cover lo1 our new course is othm level 7 diploma in healthcare and social care management uh, our unit a title is managing finance in the healthcare sector and my name is Anjum Sata and my email address anjum at ukiversity.co.uk. Please, if you have any question, just drop me email on my email address. Before starting uh, this unit, this new module, first of all, we'll discuss about and uh, we'll go through the course content and the unit content. So in, in this course is a unit two, which is about the managing finance in the healthcare. It's a level seven, 15 credit uh, unit. <clears throat> it's a mandatory unit and is assessment criteria is the pass and our grading criteria will be the pass or fail. And uh, we have Three learning outcome. In learning outcome one, we'll discuss be able to apply the tools and technique of accounting in healthcare and social care. So we'll discuss about uh, cost accounting and we'll discuss difference between cost accounting and um, especially financial accounting. We'll discuss different casting methods like ABC activity based casting, those which is quite popular in healthcare sector and social care, which we will go through. Then in learning outcome two, we'll go through be able to financial performance. We'll discuss and how we can measure the financial performance. We'll go through the different types of ratios. We'll discuss about the financial statement, why these are crucial for healthcare businesses to prepare and analyze and uh, assess the performance based on the financial statement. So lesson three, in this lesson, we'll go through be able to conduct budgetary processes and we'll discuss, you know, how we can make the budget, what is meant by budget, what is meant by target, what is meant by budgetary control. We'll discuss cash budget, we'll discuss uh, production or sale budget. All this will be focused in uh, our lesson three. So each lesson, we each learning outcome, we have an inductive content, what we supposed to be learned. So under learning outcome one, we supposed to be casting in healthcare and social care functions, which we'll discuss product and service. So what is the difference? Product is a physical thing, which is an intangible. We can see, we can touch, which has a physical substance. So we can't call product, but is a service is in intangible we can't see it we can't touch it but still is a <clears throat> it's come under the so we need to look around uh, per, service is a perishable is an instant it's be, human behavior so which is is a service sector which is a health and care and is a very important so the service of delivery and the costing for high service uh, is is cost so we need to be look around the costing opportunity cost the cost of every alternative if you're taking one thing are you going are choosing one option what cost to you the option you're missing so you the option you're choosing should be more benefit the option you're missing which we'll go through we'll discuss recording and analyzing the cost how we can record how we can analyze the cost so we'll which will go through the cost per unit like you know what effect will be job costing yes each job batch costing if you're producing thing in batches Process casting, uh, think about uh, X-ray department. So if you have a patient, so in patient, you have a different department, you're taking them. So you are doing different process on individuals. Like if you look at healthcare and the manufacturing side, so you're looking, <clears throat> you're making a product, think about, you know, you're making um, testing equipment so we need to look around it's a different process so one is the raw material cutting department then assembling then finishing so each process you do the separate cost and transfer to the next so contract costing <clears throat> you have a contract this is also very important in the healthcare because if you're providing the services healthcare or social care uh, environment so is contract costing so each contract when you make it you need to keep in mind the costing <clears throat> then standard costing so standard is mean you need to be based on the past 
experience you set the standard <clears throat> standard different types of standard which we can discuss so it's called ideal standard which is meant by ideal situation and standard casting is very important to measure the performance again the standard so you may be heard about kpi key performance indicator which is can be based on the standard okay variance analysis the difference between budgeted and the actual performance we call variance and we'll discuss marginal casting and absorption casting so marginal mean all the variable cost and the fixed cost count as a period cost and absorption casting uh, all the fixed and variable cost you absorb into the product doesn't matter every unit we produce we say 10,000 a unit every month we're supposed to produce. So we'll say per unit will cost you 30 pounds. So that 30 pounds, both fixed and variable cost, as many units we'll produce, as many closing inventory we have observed accordingly into the product. <clears throat> Activity. So think about if you have a more patient, we say, you know, each patient you recommend you will, and we need 200 pounds. So 200 pounds. And if you have a more activity, you serve more people, or you look after more people, or you have more patients. So you should be, have more fun for it. So that's the activity. When activity increase, your cost will also increase as well accordingly. But your fixed cost stay the same, but your variable cost will only increase. So cost center, uh, different center which calculate the cost of so profit center, cost center only calculate the cost of all profit center is calculate cost and profit and investment center calculate the return on investment like you have an investment department, you know, the accounting management and planning is very important and different uh, uh, accounting and management method for the control and the casting side we'll discuss in this you know our lesson today <clears throat> so let's we'll start okay welcome uh, as mentioned my name Anjum and my email address Anjum at University. so this is the inductive content which we discussed you know what we're supposed to be learn so let's we'll go through next now a uh, scale one to ten, please. Just uh, just to reflect your knowledge, grant your knowledge about casting. Where we up to now? W between one to ten, you can uh, rank yourself. What your knowledge you have about casting? How much you know about casting? So then, at the end of the lesson, you reflect again. So either you move. Uh, any further scale or not or look around within next three lesson any anything you learn it if you even you're listening this lesson so please write down on the paper what scale you are now and what you will be end of the lesson or end of the uh, unit when we're delivered so critically analyze the concept uh, we need to be so today lesson we have three key command word before moving our lesson so first we have a critically analyze so we need to look around the separate information into components, identify their characteristic, discuss the pro and cons. So which I'm, if I'm going discussing about marginal casting and absorption casting, I should discuss the advantages and disadvantages of this method and advantages and disadvantages of absorption or marginal casting. So my argument need to be contextualized with my case. So please, when you prepare your assignment, you need to be focused on these command words. These command words are very important and make sure you apply them. So if you don't use these command words in your assignment and you not prepare your assignment accordingly, you're not going to be passed. Your assignment can be referred. So please be focused, you know, on these command words. So put into apply so what is meant by apply so put into operation are you so if i'm teaching you marginal or absorption casting so you have to apply the marginal and casting in term of social and healthcare sector so how you apply so you can assume even figures or you can get the figures are you being given the in the scenario so you need to look around you have to apply those to cal calculate the cost based on the marginal casting method and the cost based on the absorption casting method. Today lesson we'll go through and we'll apply in our uh, <clears throat> lesson. Recommend. So what is meant by recommend? So when you apply, analyze. So suggest put forward being appropriate. So 
I'm saying keeping in view of my casting, I'm saying I'll recommend the absorption casting. Why I recommend so absorption casting is known as a full cast. So all our head is supposed to be absorbed, and then we decide what price you're supposed to be charged from your client. So that's why I'm recommending this method. So adjusting, forwarding based on reasons, based on facts, based on giving different authors view why this method is better than another. So that's please you need to be focused on this. Okay, let's we'll discuss now. Critically analyze this our first learning outcome which we'll discuss for decision making. Decision making. What is meant by making decision? So decision we make from various alternatives. So we have various options. You first of all you well aware of what option you have for any activity. So like you know you want to be cleaning contract in health and care. So you can recruit your cleaner yourself within health and care environment. Are you this give this contract to cleaning company? So you have to be you have two options now. So you need to look around the advantages and disadvantages of this you know if you looking uh, the decision when you make you know so I, you have to pay NI contribution, you have to manage the payroll. If somebody is sick, still you have to pay, you have to follow the legislation. You have to look around all, you need to look around the tax side as well. <clears throat> okay, next now. Okay, so management accounting. First of all, you know, the data prepared the accounts we need to be think about with data is very important because when you're making the decision, you need the data. So cost accounting, which is part of management accounting. So distribute, which is internal, your costing system, your software, your recording is very important to make the effective decision. So distribute internally. So management accounting is internally within a business, within a healthcare sector. Management decide, you know, on the way they are presented. Health management in planning, controlling, and decision making. So if you have a costing system internally reporting, you're looking how many syringes, first of all, how much you paid to nursing, how much you paid to cleaning company. You're looking this year, last year, why this is increased or decreased. You need to keep in mind the <clears throat> inflation and all other factors. So that's your internal and you can make the future decision, both financial and non-financial information, quality, standard, ISOs, uh, SOPs, all you have to look around standard operating procedures within a so financial accounting, which we call external reporting. So sometimes because you're a healthcare business, you have to report to external based on. <clears throat> so that reporting is external. This is a legal requirement for the business to prepare four types of statement. Statement of income statement, which is also known as a profit and loss statement of balance sheet, a statement also known as a statement of financial position, cash flow statement and shareholder statement. These will prepare under the financial accounts. Okay, next. Anybody any question, please? Okay, cost accounting. <clears throat> so what cost accounting? It's help you to above the purpose of the planning, control, and decision making. Businesses often needs to be calculated the cost per unit. So key question, how is and what exactly we mean to be unit or of output. So cost unit, this means the different things at to the different businesses. So different things to different businesses. Healthcare, social care. Uh, manufacturing can be different things so we need to be think about those lines but we always look at what the business produce a car manufacturer and if we look the health manufacturers here so health product manufacturer will want to be determined the cost of each car or the cost of each equipment we can say in healthcare environment the, car, the cost of each equipment probably the different component as well so in planning form <clears throat> the unit cost could be the specific to customer order it can be patient contract costing as well so for a pen manufacturer the unit cost could be in liters it can be so accounting firm want to know the cost incurred each client so we need to be look around how much time we have spent on particular case on particular client and to help with this it is common to calculate the cost per hours of the chargeable time spent by staff 
hospital might wish to calculate the cost per patient treated and the cost of the providing beds for each day or the cost of the in operation say so we need to look around the hospital wish to calculate so we need to be look around how many days the patient stayed in the bed how many hours nurse spent to look after how much medicine we give and uh, other other extra support from with the f families and friends we have provided so all we need to be look around this and that will help us to achieve our uh, objective Okay, so <clears throat> we need to we need to go through these. Anybody any question? So here healthcare we can look around in the patient perspective. Okay, next no types of cost. So types of cost we need to look around the maintain main cost element. So when you calculate the cost, so always the cost is based on the material, labor, and expenses. So material it can be any sort of like beds, like you know any other. Um, syringes or apron or PPEs, uh, protection uh, equipment, patient protection equipment. So all you know, the, that's you need to be our personal protection equipment, PPE. So we need to look around those uh, things and uh, that's come under material labor, doctors and nurses and various others. So that come under labor cost, worker cost, or we can say salary. Other expenses we can look around overhead. We have a contractual arrangement with the ambulance or with various other uh, service providers. So material include the inventory, labor include the method of the payment to the labor expenses, specific the cost center joint and shade between. So maybe we have a operation X-ray department, A and E, and so we can share the cost, and that cost can be. So direct costs are directly traceable the end of the product. So we can see if your direct cost to the patient, so we can trace it within our any service, but some costs we can't trace it, we have to observe. So all direct cost is known in costing techniques is called prime cost. So in the so when you prepare the cost unit card, so you need to look around the direct material, how much material, how much worth of the medicine you use, direct labor, how much doctor fees, how much time being spent, direct expenses, any other expense like electric or anything else you use to for that room or that particular ward, the, those are direct expenses. All the direct expenses is known as the prime cost. Then you have a production overhead. Overhead mean maybe we are paying some uh, to our delivery man, so that can be a production overhead cost. And uh, when you add them, it's become a production cost. Then you have a non-production overhead, non-production. Those are not related to production, but still is a cost. Selling and distribution, administration, finance. So that's become your total cost. So your total cost. Then you can add it, your markup and margin. How much you want, 30% above than this cost, you know, you want to decide the price. Okay, then we'll go to next now, valuation of different cost elements. So material, labor, expenses, which make up unit costs. So production may be arrived at the number of different ways. So we need to look around the batch costing. We need to look around the absorption costing. We need to look around the job costing. We need to look around the marginal costing. We go through the process costing. <clears throat> So these casting methods are covered in the, which we'll go through in the later lesson, not chapters really, you know. So we need to go through. Okay, next now we discuss about the production cost includes what is include material and labels are associated with the product or the service because this we are learning specific in the healthcare management sector point of view. So you need to think about selling and distribution, admin and uh, financing cost. Financing if you borrow the money from any uh, like, you know, the from the bank and you're paying interest on it, that will be called finance cost or central government or various other NHS trusts, you know, 
sharing between them and that's your finance cost will be clustered as a finance cost okay direct indirect cost uh, cost elements so direct cost uh, is the cost that can be directly identified the product in within a product we call traceable so like you manufacturing um, let's say a personal protection equipment you product you producing you know how much worth of the plastic how much worth of the clothes how much worth of the saving time you have used how much you paid to the one person to uh, make one unit so that's your direct cost you can estimate it you can trace it within the product it's cost approximately to this but indirect cost you can't trace within the product you have to <clears throat> you have to draw uh, allocations like you know um, normally give the example you're living in the small room and someone living in the big room and you've been uh, asked you know pay the equal bill uh, equal rent for suppose how you pay the equal rent you're living in the small room and someone living in the big room so what we need to do we need to measure the how much is a square foot the total house how much the rent we are paying so rent divided by the square foot and we can find per square foot how much is costing 10 times by how many square foot area that's the small room someone so we can allocate the cost that so that's indirect cost is the overhead we can allocate and we can absorb into the product and then we can decide you know what price we will charge anybody any question here <coughs> excuse me okay direct and indirect cost so direct is a directly cost indirect we need to be allocate and then we can decide you know what pace is what price will be okay then it's quite crucial as when you make a decision in the health and social care or any other environment any other business so you need to look around the cost behavior so cost is a fixed and variable so you need to think about the cost more to produce two hundred units up to 100 unit is maybe the fix in general level activity level and the volume of output so which we'll go through next slide this slide so cost behavior variable cost variable cost the cost which change with the level of output is called variable so if you use more syringes if you use more uh, if more labor if you we are paying the salary hourly basis if the labor work more hours so they should charge more so that's the call variable cost Fixed cost, which is stay the fix. They won't change with the level of activity. Think about in the house, you have a six bedroom. So either are in a in the healthcare, not the nursing home, you have a hundred beds, and uh, hundred beds you paying rent for it by this building, and either is there is a uh, 50 patient uh, there are the 60 patient but still the rent will stay the same so that's your fixed cost so semi variable and fixed so think about your line rental uh, line land food normally your line rental is a fixed cost and call charges are variable call charges or if you think about the pay as you go meter gas electricity normally in the uk so you have a daily service charge of the meter which is called fixed cost and then you have like a cleaning your contract with the cleaning company they say you have a contractual cost either you call us for certain cleanings or not still we will will charge you this and if you call us and we do the activity with every activity every call out will charge you this money <clears throat> so you have a fix you have a variable <laughs> okay next now steps fix car you know like a steps we need to think about like first ten thousand so you have a capacity every ten thousand your it cost you ten thousand if you produce more next twelve thousand then again ten thousand will cost you even two like in a class or uh, in a healthcare you have a hundred patient and you're paying ten thousand rent you know for the building are a hundred ten thousand pound you paying the rent a month for hundred patient uh the space and if you need now the space for twelve twelve hundred patients so now two hundred more than 
the thousand so now still again cost you ten thousand for 200 because you're getting the space off but you're not working on the full capacity that's come the capacity uh, so we heard these days a lot about capacity because due to PPEs and testing and coronavirus so all you know we need to think about so that's each step you're moving toward the next fixed step and so Fixed cost will stay the same. Step cost will go every step greater than. So we will say every step is a 5,000 cost. is a fixed step cost, we can say. <clears throat> Total cost, which is also consists of the fixed and variable together. So we can call total cost of the product. <coughs> Sorry. So next now we're looking uh, fixed and variable cost, which we said earlier is known as a semi-variable cost and we use a high and low method, which I'll show you in the next slide. Okay, so high and low cost, you need to be look around. So here we have activity. We are producing 10,000 uh, PPE, personal protection equipment, and it cost us 4,000. But when we produce 2000, it cost us 1600. So now I need to be fine because in this cost, I have a fixed and variable cost both together. So first I need to look around my maximum activity 4000, my maximum cost 4000 minus my minimum cost for the lower level activity, which is 2000 is high and low. That's my high unit, that's a low in between, I'm not considering. So, <clears throat> so now we need to look around now 4,000 minus 1,600 is 2,400, the difference between high and low, the cost and the, between the activity 10,000 minus 2,000. Always guys, please, please, please remember costing divided by activity. Some people do activity divided by. So if you say three pound, it cost your box. And you need to think about how many units in inside, like you know the Lucozid drink you're buying in. Uh, first of all, you're buying uh, in two pound four drink in a multi pack. So you need two pound divided by four, and then you can say it costs you fifty p each year, not four divided by two. <coughs> okay, next please. So this is now my cost. So it's a per unit after dividing. This is my variable cost per unit. So first I have the costing is 4,000 for 10,000 unit. So I multiply 10,000 by using high low method. I calculate it per unit variable cost, which is 0 0.3. 10,000 times 0 0.3. So is a 3,000 will be my variable cost and I have a total cost is 4,000, so 1,000 will be my fixed cost. So the total cost is mean consists of fixed and variable cost. <coughs> cost behavior and the time of scale is very important. So period cost is mean whole period, how much is the cost, the time period rather than the output. So product cost is the cost finished product made up from the cost element. So we're looking different costing fixed cost, variable cost, semi-variable, all we can observe into the product and we'll see what is the product cost per unit. Okay, absorption cost, as the word absorbed mean, you absorb different costing into the product. So absorption costing include the total cost of the products or the services and appropriate and share the organization production overhead. And appropriate shares mean the amount that reflect the amount of the time and the effort has gone into the production of the unit at the service so especially in the healthcare is a service costing so absorption costing is necessary inventory valuation pricing the cn and establish the profitability of the product which we will go through in our full it is also absorption costing also known as a full cost which i'll give you further example then we'll go through numerical so four stages of absorption cost allocation of expense Overhead a portion, so you a portion like I gave you the small room and big room and reproportionment 
and uh, then of course if uh, canteen department provides services to every so we need to look around how many employees in each department using canteen so we can allocate the cost of canteen we look the canteen cost divided by the total user and times by how many user in department a department b or department c <coughs> okay sorry about next please Absorption uh, overhead op apportionment or we can look how we can divide the cost of production cost center service cost center so in think about in a department uh, in an organization manufacturing different department so warehouse are various other service department on what basis so we need to de decide the basis to allocate the cost direct promotion you directly divide them or allocate them so this is being given we can look around the budgeted overhead divided by the budgeted activity or we can whatever the rate will say 40 percent uh contain provide services to admin staff and 60 percent to production so their cost we can allocate according to the percentage right so this is all about the overhead a portion or allocation next we're looking at the activity based costing which is very important in health care especially a lot of you know the health in the nhs and various other who world health organization also so just to use activity based costing <coughs> <coughs> so healthcare uh, in healthcare and this uh, Second, service sector is an alternative approach of the absorption costing using the cost driver to assign the activity cost so you need to identify an organization major activity identify the cost driver maybe factors which cause a change in the cost of the activity collect the cost associated with the each activity into the cost pool changes in sport overhead to product on the basis of their usage of activity may the number of the activities and the cost driver they are generate okay so then the cost inward department total is 10000 cost drivers for the good inward activity so number of deliveries how many so if we have a 200 deliveries 1000 delivery and 200 of these deliveries are related to the product x and 2000 unit of the product x were produced so you need to think about now so <clears throat> so 10000 is cost for 1000 delivery so 10000 divided by 1000 so each delivery will cost 10 so if a product x taking 200 delivery 200 time we deliver that so 10 times 200 so that cost 2000 and other cost per unit of x so you need to be look around 2000 you make the x product is a cost so for you looking one pound is per unit is cost you as a delivery cost so that's the way we can calculate the activity based costing in each activity or the each task we can separately and that drive different costing so this is one of the nhs you know so just state the resource you need to look around the medical critical care journey how much will be cost uh, different department and different activity if they have a more activities so it will be cost more so please you can create a sheet and you can calculate the cost multiply <coughs> and next we're looking the job costing so job is think about in term of construction company all the builders and manufacturer are you as a uh, you doing the business as a recruitment for or selecting or outsourcing so that's you know the job costing is the cost of the unit that consists of the single order at the single so if you need one worker will find for you and cost you this so work is undertaken by the customer specific requirement each order is the short duration job move through the processes and operation and each job usually differs so you want to be extend one room room other people client want me to extend their house so I each job is cost me different i'm not giving standard cost i'm giving each job cost 
so batch you uh, like you know we making 10000 units in the batches and each unit what will be cost you so to total batch cost divided by the number of unit we are producing the batch so we can find per unit so service costing is less really you know in an nhss we are uh, the in health and social care we using service costing <coughs> So two main types of service. So service provided by the company operating in the service industry, service pro provided by the company in service department. So service is a characteristic of intangibility. Of course, I mentioned earlier, we can't see it intangible, don't have a physical substance. Simultaneous, can't be inspected it beforehand. So you can't really beforehand that deliver the service, you inspect them. So perishable service, it is a perishable can't be save or store so it's your depends your mood your behavior and react instantly that is we can't really store it heterogeneity it can't be expect exactly the same service every time so your human behavior can be different at different times so service can be different in different times as well but you need to be look around the service standard you need to be set you need at least you know these particular questions and these behavior needs at all the time so many services are the profit seeking but they are not so the purpose of the service cost might therefore be to provide the management information on the cost and efficiency rather than establish profit and loss like you know in nhs especially they're not there to earn the profit they are there for the service <clears throat> so service costing unit cost may yet so complete the unit frequently so contain meal serve education full-time student hospital patient days hotel occupied beds nights transport how many meals so we can calculate the total cost for the period divided by the number of service unit provided the services that's it called the unit cost okay then we next now 1.2 will apply the tool of different costing in terms of uh, so marginal costing marginal costing is mean all the variable costs in this costing method is quite useful way with the cost chain with the level of activity so contribution mean the return so my selling price minus my variable cost is give me contribution per unit how much you have so you need to look around it cost me 200 i'm charging from the patient 500 500 minus 200 so 300 is my contribution <clears throat> so then we look the marginal costing and absorption costing absorption costing is is uh, all the full cost fixed and variables absorb into the product so normally the closing inventory will be high value in term of absorption costing and less way you know, because the fixed and variable cost will be there and we can look around especially in next you know our learning outcome assessment criteria will use this okay look there now we've been given here activities as per the costing exercise there may be need to be determined the material cost for the product or the unit and there is a straight forward if the price of the material is constant but the price varies then the exemption need to be made the costing purposes there are the three men uh, inventory evaluation method first in first out last in first out and first in so inventory evaluation so you need to think about in the costing point of view <coughs> some medicine is a perishable so those are expired uh, most of medicine are perishable so some your equipment are durable so you need to be first in first out method normally on the perishable goods and last in first out maybe you use the durable of long lasting product every you can look around different times you buy the things and you divide it you can find it so we can look around the quantity we bought and different times so 280 320 and 160 unit we bought on different dates and then we have a cost as different price in the total column i multiply 280 times 16 so so that's you know the my cost there and then I'll do all. And then we've been asked 350 units we need to issue. If I'll use the first in, first out. So 350, 280 will go from the date first, first in, first out. So that will times by then remaining 50, 70 units. So 20, 70 units will go from this box. 
so 70 times so then i can add this cast plus 70 unit this cast i can find which one is the right which one is the wrong and how much is inventory so i add them all and minus of issuing and remaining will be my closing so which will go here you will see there <clears throat> so this way we can find and when we'll do the average we add all and we can look around so we add all the total cost and we divide by the total unit and we get the average times by 350 so we'll that will give the average issuing cost and based on the average price and then remaining of course you know issuing total inventory minus issuing remaining so that's you know we found the answers from and they pick it so please this way we can calculate the costing next we have a cost center different cost centers cost center where we calculate the cost, profit center where we calculate the cost and the profit. And uh, these are very important in to be look around in different department, their costing investment centers always look the return and the investment and your roles can be different and that's why you need to be calculate the cost. <clears throat> okay, choice between the marginal costing and absorption costing is up to you which costing method you use. You have to make the choice based on your own organization requirements. So we discuss advantages and disadvantages in this. Next recommendation of improving uh, improvement costing in the healthcare, which we're looking enterprise financial management. You need to look around the tax accounting, financial accounting, managerial accounting, cost measurement. So cost accounting is domain costing. So we need to look around the cost accounting is a key cost per unit, fixed variable, semi variable. You need to look around the performance evaluation analysis. We can use the cost planning purposes. We can use the cost, you know, so cost accounting financial accounting and management accounting all important but my management and the cost accounting with this internal those are so we can look around and we can predict what will be the future cost <clears throat> so important of the costing goods of the financial so it's the costing has the ability to identify major interpret present the cost so we need to look around the fitness fit for the purpose of cost the costing method you using is the fit for purpose or not you need to look around the business model is a direct indirect like a dell computer is assembling in different part in india and order is delivered in different so we need to look around the business is a direct indirect business model what good so your costing method you can materiality is mean significancy and you need to look around the which significant cost and you need to be designed or decide the costing method accordingly <clears throat> so next in this way we calculating the cost marginal costing versus absorption costing so let's we'll go through we've been given the fixed cost per unit so fix overhead we have 40,000 overhead means that's not direct cost is indirect fixed cost so 40,000 for production we are doing 10,000 unit so per unit will be fixed cost four so if I'm using absorption costing and marginal costing now we'll go through so my selling price is a 15 my material cost is 4 my other variable cost is 2 and my fixed cost it should be the 4 so we look here 15 costing is 4 2 and 4 so 6 plus 4 is 10 so 10 is my total cost include fix and variable according to absorption costing and my 15 I'm selling. So my profit is five. So I'm using now marginal costing. So I'll use marginal costing. When I'll use marginal costing, my fix, my selling price 15, I'll minus my variable cost. So my contribution is nine. Nine times by how many units I'm selling now? Nine times by <clears throat> so 8000 so that's my total contribution <clears throat> and my production <clears throat> variable production cost was 10 and times by 6 so we can calculate in the next slide you will see there my sales revenue is this my cost where just variable is this and my contribution is this and my fixed cost for the period as it's called predict predict fixed cost my marginal profit is this under marginal costing 32 now i'll go for absorption costing so 
8,000 I'm selling cost to me now 8,000 because we said of the option costing me in fixed and variable cost together. So four two are my variable, four was the fixed and total is 10, 10. So 80,000 is cost of the sale. The good 8,000 we sold is cost according to absorption costing. So is a 40,000. So my profit because the inventory will be also absorbed according to the absorption. So difference is 8,000. The 8,000 <clears> due to the four is the return off again the profit. Each unit four will go in the uh, absorption costing so 2000 unit times four so 8000 fixed cost will be absorbed into the closing inventory as well so that's why is 8000 will be the difference between the profit according to so in uh, when we in a healthcare environment are uh, in NHS and healthcare and social care sector so please you can think about both costing methods and according to financial accounting we need to be consist or just follow one method instead of you carry on chaining because standard not allowed so please i copy the link for you how we can calculate the cost per unit so further your learning please please you can copy this link so copy this link and you can go through e-learning please <clears throat> so you can go through e-learning that will help us so please equivalent unit yes how much will be the cost so please raw material finished goods and all so three types of inventory then final how we can calculate total so please do e-learning i prepared the padlet for you which is meant by all the resources what i'm showing plus extra resources which shows all this you copy the link there with it from the slide and just go here and you can find there all the resources <clears throat> so please this is the in a case casting method which is recommended so please what you can do look around the casting method those are quite good go through and what being suggested in nhs and some costs being calculated which i pick you know the things as well so which is quite good please to read and second uh, is a harvard business school review about how we can costing in the healthcare cost center and who world health organization and this is the video is quite good to watch please it is based on uh, is a costing so we can look around the different and uh -huh. we can do decide Let's the pricing go. based on the casting. So please, you can watch this as well. Just use this link and you can access all the resources. And uh, if you have any question, please drop me email and my email address anjum at ukversity.co.uk. So today lesson, we learn about the different casting methods and uh, casting technique, those we can use in a health and social care environment as well in, in other businesses as well. So casting is very important. That will help to make the decision what price we'll charge from the customer and casting also regular need to be reviewed as well. We need to be consistent with term of the casting method, but we need to be reviewed in term of like inflation, fixed cost and variable cost, which normally fixed cost stays fixed at least one year and the variable cost, which is changed with the level of output and the activity so we learn about fixed cost variable semi variable opportunity cost we discuss cost center profit center investment center we discuss about absorption casting marginal casting job casting activity based casting and we said activity based casting is very important in term of health and social care if your activities increase your cost will increase and we need to be follow and we need to be charge the same price or we need to recommend our uh, ask you know the same budget because otherwise we can't meet our whatever the benchmark or the quality of the service will decrease so that's all today and in the next lesson we'll go through l2 in the meanwhile if you have any question drop me email thanks for attending or thanks for listening thanks bye bye